Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing oil change on my 2020 Nissan Outer Things first. We're gonna check out the car. I got two jacks and I got this piece of wood down there for extra protection. She have enough clearance for me to get down there. to get down there and I believe it's a 32 millimeter socket. Okay, so this is under the car and here's the drain plug and here is the oil filter. It's all right here. And it's not a 13, it's a 14, so let's go swap this. All right, so it was 14, I already loosened it up. Now let's get this party started. Ready, 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 yeah. Shoot. Always a mess, never fails, I swear. So while that is draining down here, we are going to go up there. Let's pull the dipstick halfway out, and then loosen up the oil cap. Somehow it got really tight. I don't know why. But yeah. Just loosen that up so it could get some more flow, faster flow. Look, it's always already dripping, so I would say give it like a good 10 minutes. And then we're gonna close the plug and then we're gonna drain the oil filter. Alright guys, I think this is ready to put the plug back in. It's only dripping. So let's do that. So there we go. Time it up and then we're gonna wipe it clean. Then we're gonna tighten it up a little bit, not too hard. All right, the part is done. Now we're gonna loosen up this oil filter. And just turn it. It shouldn't be too tight. Same thing when you put it back on, don't do it too tight. Hand tight is fine with this. Alright, it's off. There's the old one. Let's go get the new one. Now, as far as the brand, you guys can use whatever brand you guys want. For me, I think it's all the same crap. Unless it's like a. Sports cars, like for example, I had a Corvette, and that one I did use a more expensive oil and filter, but for this car, it just, <laughs> it's all fine, it's all the same. All right, so I already looped up the, um, the seal, so it's ready to put back on. All right, the filter's on, and I wiped everything around, make sure everything's nice and clean. We don't want to see no drips from old oil. And for the reason for that is when we put the new oil, we're going to turn on the car. We're going to come down here and see if there's any drips. Make sure it's not leaking. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Wipe it clean. Here's the old oil filter. And there's a little mess I made because I didn't put the pen in the right place. And some of the oil spilled out over here. So, we're going to remove our oil cap. We're going to get a funnel. Okay, and I'm ready to pour the new oil. Here we go. I'm about to make a mess. I'm trying to record it. <laughs> new oil is in there. We're just gonna let it settle down for a little bit so we can all go in there. And then we're gonna close it up, check the fluid level, and then we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna see if there's any leaks. If there's no leaks, then we're good. So it's time to check the oil level. And I'm gonna show you guys how to read the dipstick. All right, so right here, you guys see on the bottom part has a letter L. That's for low. And then on the top part has the letter H. That's for high. So it can be anywhere from here to here, okay? It has a dots too. If it's close to here, it's kind of low, so you don't want that. Because sometimes cars burn oil, and you might not notice, and it might go below that. So I like to keep it at high topped it off all right you don't want to go over that either because that's bad for your engine you could break something or i don't know drown the engine or something so let's do it try those without making a mess 
Hard to see, but she's close to that age. Right there, you guys see where it shines right there? That's where it's at the age. So it's good. All right, so we're gonna let the car sit there for a little bit. While we do that, we're gonna drain the dirty oil. And what I like to do is use the same bottle where it came from, and then that you can bring it to uh, Riley's Pet Boys AutoZone. They'll take in your oil, your used oil. is done. I'm gonna clean this up, put this away. I'm gonna turn on the car and let her. Turn on the car, we're gonna let it run for a little bit, and then we're gonna see if there's any leaks or anything. Watch your hands. I wanna take out the jacks because just in case it is leaking out. Had to you know put it back in there, raise it up again, take all that stuff off. It's a pain in the butt. All right, so let's look down here. Nothing is dripping. Everything looks good. I'm gonna drip over there. Looks good. So I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna lower it and we're done. Hope this helped. If you guys have any questions? Uh, let me know.